Now in this lesson <coughs> we're going to uh, do some uh, insert some some special effects. Mainly the first one we'll do is transitions. So basically we've got uh, three little video short video clips here and we're going to go from uh, I'll just play the end of one. Okay. Now you see it just jumps straight into the second clip. What we can do here, we can actually insert a transition. If we go back to the uh, timeline view, this is your first clip, this is your second clip. We can go over to our tasks menu, left click on that, and we can make that go away. Uh, edit movie. We can um, view a video transitions or view video effects. We're doing for transitions at the moment. So what you can see over here <coughs> is um, transitions and it gives you a bit of an idea of what the uh, what the transition will be like over in the uh, over in the window there but if you drag that down you've got lots and lots and lots of transitions here not just the one or two we're running a very small screen here so you can't see many at once but uh, if we choose uh, where are we now We'll choose a nice one to um, see the difference. Mm. Oh, here we go. Page curl, that'll do. Now we just drag that and put that into that little box there. And we can use the same transition in the next clip there. So now when we go to play those clips, and if we go back to the timeline view, we can actually start the video now you can also see there's something uh, happened here. There's a little in the transition line there. There's two little spots there. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, and go along further along to this one. Play through there. Okay, I hope that comes out on the um, on the screen capture. So there, we've got the transitions there. Now we can make those transitions longer or shorter. And one thing I haven't showed you yet is how to zoom in on the video or zoom in on your work. Now you can't do that from the storyboard. You need to be in the uh, timeline menu. This little magnifying glass over here, if we touch that, left click that, you can see what's happening. It's making the video get stretched right out. The video is still the same length, but uh, it's much easier to work on because it it stretches it right out. Now if we go to the end of the first clip here it is here we've got here it says page curl upright that is your transition now the transition at the moment goes for 1.25 seconds we might think that's too short we might think that's too long I think it's a bit too short so what we can do is we can left click and highlight we can go across to the where the little arrow is there and get the red red left to right arrows. We can left click and hold and we can make that transition longer. So now it's 1.76 seconds. We can go longer. Now it's it's 2.72 seconds. So what I'll do, I'll just play through that and give you an idea of what it looks like. <laughs> there you go, you can see it took a lot longer. So by doing that, <coughs> by zooming in, it gives you much better accuracy to try and do something. And uh, as you can see here, uh, if we go to zoom out, and uh, you can zoom right out, that put everything on the one screen or zoom back in again. But that gives you a much better, better control over what you're doing. Okay, so that's um, that's adding a transition. That transition there, that's uh, page curl. We might not like that one. We might go and um, choose another one. So we can make another one there, and uh, we'll see what we've got this time. There we go. And you can go along and you can choose any of those transitions, choose one you like, that sort of thing. So there we go, inserting a transition and editing a transition.